In this video, I'm going to be highlighting our stay in Chiang Rai, Thailand. The day we got here, December 1st, um, 2023. This is a hotel that we've stayed at every year that I've been coming to Thailand since 2017, except for my last time in Thailand, which was uh, February 2021 because I only went to Phuket and Bangkok at that time. Anyway, we always stay at this hotel just because it's cheap and it's close to everything that we want to do in Chiang Rai City. It's called Jensum House and I've never seen it on Agoda, but this was recommended to us by actually my wife's sister. My wife's sister's friend owns it. And it's a bare bones place, but for 450 Thai baht, and that's the most expensive we've ever paid for it per night. They raised that price, I think it said over a year ago, but it's usually been cheaper. But uh, for 450 Thai baht, you'll see what you get in Chiang Rai, Thailand. Just remember the location is a good spot, um, but there's no swimming pool, anything like that. It's just walking distance to the night bazaar, the walking street all of that so it's perfect for things like that and it's just down the street from the clock tower which is another beautiful thing to view all right so without further ado let's get into it I nudge. I think they're in 208. I think so. Okay. I guess you would call this the courtyard where they got some nice uh, wooden furniture up for people who smoke or whatever because there's no smoking in the rooms but anyway one of the things I forgot to mention that I'll add here is there is a free breakfast which uh, consists of toast coffee cocoa uh, bananas and that's pretty much it so again for this price you can't go too far wrong the room itself is as plain as they get little bit of a fridge they give you water it's got a small TV uh, that's a closet area there you look out that window and all you're looking at is the other side of the, uh, another building right beside you like you could touch it if you could open the window you could touch that building I'm sure uh, the bathroom is over there and then the bed which is hard but it's typical of a Thai bed and um, this was the first time I ever came to Thailand. I never, never uh, seen this at any other hotel, but I have since, since, but in order to have power, you need to put the key in here. Uh, and it's a good uh, electric city saving measure because you got to take the key with you. And by doing so, you're turning off the power, including the air conditioner, which is pretty much a must if you're in Thailand. This is December 2nd. Uh, I got up at 7.30, went out and had coffee at the front of the hotel. And uh, sitting outside and it was already 22 degrees. And it's supposed to get up to a high of 30. 450 Thai baht and it's my biggest bone of contention with a lot of places in Thailand the shower which does have hot water that's a hot water tank and lots of pressure which is nice but the whole floor gets wet it's not separated from the sink area and uh, so every time you want to have a shower if you're a crazy person like me uh, 
you got to take the toilet paper out, otherwise it'll get soaking wet. Just a friendly tip. And 415 Thai baht translated somewhere in the neighborhood of just over 17 Canadian dollars, which is probably 14 or 15 US. Comment below if you think that's a pretty decent price for uh, what you saw there. As far as I'm concerned, it's uh, it's well worth it. All right, click subscribe, thumbs up, you know the drill. Thanks for your time. Be well.